and welcome to Aussie Boomers Travel, another edition. Um, this one is all about Sydney and it's all about the rocks. You can spend quite a few days just wandering around the rocks. Um, I'll show you later on exactly where it is, but we flew from Melbourne Tullamarine to Sydney. We flew on a weekday and it was um, very quiet. I think we flew on a Wednesday. So yeah, really, really quiet. Um, popped into the lounge. Don't forget also to grab your fly well packs if you need. Um, and as you can see, yeah, even at the great gate, it was really quite quiet. So yeah, flying the uh, kangaroo this time, Qantas, the kangaroo flying Australian Airlines, Australian and Northern Territory Airlines service. Um, the flight that we had had some entertainment uh, in the back of the seat, which was good. Uh, it's a very quick flight, only takes about an hour to fly. Um, these are some of the pickies of us um, coming into Sydney. Sometimes you can come in uh, and you get a great view of the harbour but uh, this uh, route we came in the other way but if you're lucky uh, sometimes you can come in and fly over the harbour and gives you some great views so as you can see um, the rocks is on the other side so you've got circular key where you catch the ferries and the rocks is on the other side so definitely worth having a look at. I stayed at the uh, Harbour Rocks Hotel. Word of warning, it is expensive, it is beautiful and stunning, but there are no lifts. Um, so the staff are fantastic and will help you with your luggage, but yeah, just a word of warning, no lifts. They do have an, a happy hour at their little bar there. Um, they do have like a dumb waiter that you can put your luggage in um, to get it up and down, but um, the staff will help you with all of that. Yeah, and the happy hour is lovely. It's a beautiful, beautiful old building right in the heart of the rocks. This is also part of the um, hotel where I grabbed some breakfast crepes, which were lovely, um, really nice. The other place I've stayed at is the Rendezvous Hotel. Very different, uh, quite modern, um, big rooms with a little kitchenette and a little seating area. Um, so it really just depends, you know, how long you're staying, if you want to do a little bit of cooking yourself or not to save some money. Uh, the view from my room, we were at the rocks. The rocks are very old area. Um, so yeah, but you know, it was cute. And again, um, the location of the rocks is just fabulous. But if you go to the rocks, you get a different view of um, Sydney Harbour and also the bridge. So please explore, um, go down the alleyways, wander up the stairs. There's lots of maps around everywhere to help you. So get lost. Um, it is just so fun to explore all, like I said, all the little black back alleyways and go away from the harbour and up to um, the behind the rocks. There's some fantastic pubs there. Um, I went to one of these, which is one of the um, oldest pubs in Sydney. It's called the Waterloo. The same lady has owned it for 30 years and she lives upstairs. And apparently they built the pub because they, um, the uh, the well-to-do people didn't want the people from the harbour to come into Sydney. So they built them a pub and they also built them a church so that they wouldn't come into downtown Sydney. So it's a lovely story. So uh, go and chat to the guys uh, at the bar there and they might even show you some of the interesting things that are down underneath the pub. So um, there's also the other part, if you keep walking around, um, there's a more modern part of um, a, a, around past the quay and the rocks as well. This is the nurses walk, um, tiny little narrow um, walkways, well lit, just really interesting. There used to be a hospital nearby and there's all these little galleries and shops and wine bars all hidden down all these little alleyways. So I really, really encourage you to go and explore. 
Uh, this is one of the pubs. There's so many pubs you can go to. Now this is another section. There's a couple of restaurants in this one section. One is a, um, a Mexican and the other one is this one, the Archive. The Archive was fantastic. They both have happy hours. This one has, you know, really cheap pizzas. The El Camon Cantina um, I didn't have such a good experience there. They do offer you free nachos. Um, the nachos I got was terrible. Um, and the food that I ordered wasn't very good as, at all. But um, the archive was fantastic. Um, so yeah, check that out. Uh, they have happy hours. It's uh, be a pumping place in summer. And it's a bit of a nightclub hot spot as well. Um, I went and got a Aperol Spritz and the staff were lovely um, in the archive. Uh, but look, go check out the El Camino if you want to. I had a bad experience, but you know, you might be lucky um, and have a better experience than I did there. But the archive was great, but it is a great place to just go sit and people watch. So again, as you can see, back in the rocks, there are some fantastic walks. So um, please go and explore. I went up to the Observatory Hill Park. Now do this at sunset. You get the most stunning views across to the Harbour Bridge. Um, there are so many people who go and watch the sunset from here. Um, there's this rotunda. Uh, I, I know TV shows have done hosting, morning TV shows have done hosting from this rotunda. I'm sure people have been engaged and proposed to and weddings all through there. It is just beautiful at sunset. When I was there, there were quite a few people uh, settling in. The Sydney Observatory is there. Well, that's why it's called Observatory Hill. And have a look around because you can actually see the other bridges if you look around um, to the left. So there's a nice walk around. It is a little bit steep getting up there, um, but it's doable. Um, so yeah, go for a wander around. Uh, the nature around there is just beautiful. And that's another view of the observatory. Um, as far as walking up there, it is quite well signposted. Um, there is a lift that you can catch um, from the rocks up, which makes it a bit easier. And then it really is just crossing um, a big motorway and following the signs across. Uh, Google Maps will help you. But yeah, it is quite well um, signposted. Uh, and I got there via the Argyle Stairs and also uh, via Cumberland. And there's the lift that you can see that will um, take you up. There's also a um, fabulous rooftop bar. Uh, that's the outside of it that has a beauty called the Glenmore. It has a great view over um, the harbour. Um, they have a happy hour as well. Uh, it's really worth going up there and um, grabbing um, a drink and admiring the view up there as well. There are so many fantastic places to eat and wander. Um, I went to quite a few of the um, pubs that were around. Um, if you head away from the rocks, it's not quite as expensive. I went to this Japanese restaurant called uh, and got a beautiful bento box and it was heading away from the water and up the hill and so you weren't paying the really expensive um, touristy prices that you do down at the rocks. So um, this is just, you know, it is hilly but um, it's worth it. Uh, when I was there, there was a big cruise liner that had just pulled in. And these are just some of the views from up the top looking out across. I did do an early morning walk to a sunrise walk. Now this was fabulous and I was really lucky to, um, as the sun was coming up, I got uh, captured some beautiful shots of uh, Sydney Harbour as the sun was coming up and the clouds. Um, so that's a really nice walk too. So you can actually 
um, have a look at your maps but you go past Circular Quay you stay hug the waterline and you go um, right around and it takes you up underneath Sydney Harbour um, where the tall ships are um, and that's worth it too there's another hotel there um, there's quite a few hotels along there um, uh, but that's worth um, having a look at and um, having a look on um, booking.com should help you with that one as well I found this great little coffee shop uh, which was literally at Circular Quay it opened at 6 a.m. Um, that was worth going to I used to pop in there a fair bit there's so many food places to eat at um, all around there's also the market that's on Saturday and Sunday I suggest you go if you're there um, have a look beautiful um, artisan artwork and unique gifts um, supporting local um, artists as well and um, always places to stop this um, pub was just near the market on a corner and it was all decked out um, with a, a, a ship theme or as a sailors theme um, and again the staff were fantastic I had my own little booth which was really nice and there's always lots of sign postage everywhere so it, it it's really easy to get around again what the other thing I did was I um, walked uh, I, you can catch the lift up from um, Circular Quay catch a lift up or you can walk up the stairs and I wandered around the Botanical Gardens and did a big loop um, you can also go have a look at Government House again it's really well mapped out um, use your Google Maps as well um, if you want you can download um, and you Google Maps and do it offline beautiful sculptures um, it was just really nice just to walk around the gardens the botanical gardens um, and get out of the hustle and bustle of Sydney and it can be really busy but this is um, a beautiful little sanctuary uh, right in the heart of the city and then once you get to the end you get the beautiful water views again just more fabulous sculptures you can see, see there the Westfield Tower in the background and you come back around to the other side of the harbour and you come around and you get a different view again of um, the Opera House so it's quite a, quite a few really nice work, uh, walks and it's really worth doing wandering around so I guess to sum up um, walk away from the rocks and from the water and go up the hills and explore up to Observatory Hill this is all through uh, Circular Quay here and there's also a shortcut that you can go up the stairs as well I'd also recommend at the quay there is the Museum of Contemporary Art which is this place here uh, definitely go in and have a look it's free to enter uh, they've got some fabulous works of art so um, definitely go have a look at that um, when I was wandering around the um, there was free yoga with your pets that's what these guys were doing so you can do that if you want to and again here's all those little alleyways to explore um, you know just wander down all these alleyways and the views and the old um, the old part of the rocks is just lovely so yeah explore definitely go and explore and you could spend a good couple of days at the rocks itself so thanks for watching please uh, subscribe give me a thumbs up leave a comment and I'll speak to you again soon so this is Meryl from Aussie Boomers Travel